Tinubu's structure gradually crashing before his very eyes. As Northerners who gave him their support are now re-strategizing and joining new party, forming a new movement to eradicate APC and PDP. How a 96 years old nationalist that vowed to support Tinubu has now joined the national movement, TNM, Northern Leaders. That's why we brought you up to speed yesterday that Ganduje, the, the governor of Kanu State, had to reassure Tinubu, saying, uh, The North is behind you. There is a reason. Okay? Actions began reactions. And so when he saw that in the North, here, yeah, Tinubu has been spraying 50 50 million recently but the same fire engulfed some part of lagos market too no 50 million was thrown at them they, they didn't get any support you know but for the north castina sokoto and so on tinubu has been sending 50 50 million all in a bid to get in, in return on his investment however what is reaching us right now is that you know, the people he has been banking on. Remember, the Northern Leaders is going to see who said we're going to be supporting you. They form a new party. So let's get all the details. How Northern Elders and one national nationalist, 96 years old, who vowed to support Tinubu, has now joined the national movement team, a new party to unseat Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu, APC and PDP. One of the largest political happenings in the country now is the emergence of a third force by Senator Rabio Konkoso, known as the National Movement, the National Movement. According to the former Kanu state governor, this political force has emerged to wrestle out power from the ruling of Progressive Congress and also ensure that the major political party PDP does not cling to power by 20, 2023. However, amongst the top politicians and statement that has joined hands with Senator Konkoso, to flaunt the new political movement is a 96-year-old nationalist northern elder statesman that once vowed to support Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu's presidential bid. The 96-year-old elder statesman Tonko Yokosi Yakasi recalled that some time ago Bola Tinubu visited the elder, the northern elder. Yeah. And Yakasi informed him that his presidential ambition, whereby Tankoso vowed to support Tinubu. However, emerging reports has revealed that Elder Tonko Yakasi, Yakasi has joined hands with Rabi Konkoso in ensuring the productivity of the national movement. APC, PDP, a trouble to Nigeria, says Konkoso and Yakasi, has, has now launched the national movement. Going through the whole political narrative, it has begun that Tinubu's structure, even in the north, he seriously depends on, is already crumbling and winding down. Five months when Elder Tanko Yakasi vowed to support Tinubu has now become come crashing in a single moment as the game has just changed. Kwankoso and all the northern elders who once supported Tinubu are now working tirelessly for this new party to succeed to unseat APC and PDP alike. So there you have it. Uh, what Tinubu thought, okay, will work potentially is no longer looking like it. Northern elders are beginning to have other interests. Konkoso, yeah, Konkoso, who, you know, uh, was an elder statesman and said he was waiting patiently for anyone who will first come to him and ask that, you know, he supports them. And he said, according to him, Tinubu was the first person. He made a statement saying he was going to support Tinubu and do everything possible. He's going to mobilize the North for Tinubu. But also a former Northern, uh, uh, also a, a former Kanu state governor, yeah, has now joined forces and northern elders have joined and the aim of this new party is to unseat APC and PDP. So they are doing everything humanly possible, working together in synergy to ensure 
okay, that APC and PDP do not come on board anymore. According to Kwonkoso, he said APC, PDP has nothing to offer to Nigerians and that they have what it takes to bring Nigeria out of the current predicament and they are going to do everything, humanly speaking, possible to ensure, you know, that they... And guess what? Northern elders are already joining the train. You know, northern elders are all coming on the train. Remember that the north does not want the south to, you know, people are talking about rotational presidency, APC, PDP are talking about, you know, everybody zoning their presidency, for instance, to the north. And beg your pardon, to the south. Some northerners have said, no, there is no such provision in our constitu constitution. So um, anybody, whether north or south, irrespective of whether Buhari has been the president, is free to contest. So northerners are quite happy with this new political party. Very happy, I must tell you. And um, the, since it's a new political party and they are coming up with a mission statement that they are ready to unseat, you know, the current uh, major two major parties. Tinubu initially has gotten their word and their support. Northern elders, I told you, has been spraying money in the north. However, it may not stand because they are now with the national movement team. And this national movement team is working against both APC and PDP. So what Tinubu has envisaged may, become, may be becoming a mirage at the time, at this point in time, as he may not be getting what he has thought or planned for, because the times are changing and are changing quite very fast. Yeah, so people he thought will stand for him, will speak for him, will support him, may not be supporting him. And this is quite uh, disturbed in structure as things are beginning to fall apart. So this is what is happening currently right now. So how do we go? Where do we go from here? Are we going to sit down and, uh, you know, just allow, I mean, this new party that has been formed. Yes, fine. New party has been formed. What is the aim? It's not enough to form a new party because you feel aggrieved in a previous party. Be, go and check all the incidents of the pre, the, the pre, uh, predecedents of the all the people in this new party. They are either from APC or PDP. So what is new? What are they bringing to the table? How do they intend to solve the problem of Nigeria? What is their mission statement? What are they bringing? I mean, these are things we must ask ourselves and not blindly like we did in 2015. Oh, a new political party is formed. Oh, they are going to do this, do that. And we blindly follow again and then we land in another dish. Leave us a comment. God bless you. Bye for now.